Hi, my name is Charlotte Pers. I'm responsible for the Hype Code at the Swedish Meteorological and Hydrological Institute, SMHI. This video is part of a series of videos on the code structure of the hydrological model Hype. This part is about the hydrological simulation system, in short, HIS. This is used to run the hype model. HIS can be used as a computational framework to run other hydrological time-stepping models as well. The hydrological simulation system handles input data, both regarding the model setup and the settings for a specific simulation. Depending on simulation settings, different types of output files are written and different model options are used. For instance, different evapotranspiration models. Several algorithms for automatic calibration of model parameters are implemented in HIS, as well as a range of criteria that may be combined to a multi-criteria objective function that will be optimized. This is a simplified scheme over the HIS calculation structure. These are the main computational steps. Read and prepare all input data for the model setup and simulation. The preparations may include testing of the input data. Parameter optimization, if that option is chosen. The optimization involves several simulations with different parameter values to find the ones that give the minimum value of the objective function. The result will be one or several sets of optimal model parameters. This routine includes calculate new parameter values for simulation to be tested. Run the simulation with one set of model parameters. For each time step, this means get current forcing data. Simulate the hydrological processes. Prepare for calculation of performance criteria. After simulation, calculate the value of the objective function and determine what the next step of the optimization loop will be test other parameters or optima is reached. Then comes the actual model simulation. This includes getting state variables initialized. This can be done with a previously saved state. If optimization has been done, the optimized parameters will be used. Otherwise, the parameter values of the input data are used. The model simulation iterates through a series of tasks for each time step. Get the forcing data. They can be read from file or from memory. Simulate the hydrological processes of the model. Accumulate data for performance criteria calculation. Accumulate data for output and write the time step for time series output. After the simulation, some tasks remain. Other outputs than time series files, for instance, sub-basin performance criteria, are calculated and written. Thank you for listening. The next video will be about hype.